Minoru Makahara, who ran Mitsubishi after stumbled, dies at 90. Minoru Makahara, who led Minorushi, the world's largest company in the post-Japan bubble era in the 1990s, and helped to meet the demands of a global economy, died in Tokyo on 13 December. Happened. He was in the 90s. The cause was heart failure, his family said. Educated in England and the United States, Mr. Makahara introduced a new international spirit, which was once Japan's most powerful company, and helped take it away from its business, traditional business practices. And despite the death of his father at the hands of the United States Navy, he became a lifelong champion of U.S.-Japan relations, major organizations dedicated to building relations between former enemies. Mr. Makahara was born on 12 January 1930 in London, where his father, Satoru Makahara, worked as a branch manager for Mitsubishi, which was already a large company. Her mother, Haruko, was a writer, librarian, and kindergarten teacher. They were raised bilingual, developing the ability to shift between cultures that they would tap into throughout their lives. Increasing tensions between Japan and the West sent his family back to their country of origin before the war. In 1942, Mr. Makahara's father, who was a member of a business delegation from the Japanese-occupied Philippines when the ship he was on, said that he was sunk by the son of Mr. Makahara, an American submarine. In 1949, Mr. Makahara went to the United States to study at St. Paul, a private boarding school in New Hampshire. The scars of the war were fresh. The parents of some students were killed by Japanese soldiers. But he nonetheless welcomed him with a warm welcome that made a deep impression and inspired a lifetime for the country, his son said. In 1950, he began his undergraduate studies at Harvard University, he graduated in 1954 with a bachelor's degree in government. Two years later, following in his father's footsteps, he returned to Japan and joined Mitsubishi, where he worked all his life. He confirmed his relationship with the company the following year when he married his childhood friend Kakuko Iwasaki, the granddaughter of Mitsubishi Group founder, Yatoro Iwasaki. In 1971, Mr. Makahara opened a Mitsubishi office in Washington, where his social circle expanded, including distinguished personalities such as then-Washington Post owner Catherine Graham. By the end of the decade, he had returned to Japan to head the Marine Products Department, once headed by his father. The company paid attention to his work. He was promoted to Mitsubishi's head of international operations in 1987, and in 1992 he was named president and chief executive of the company. With his foreign education and his decades abroad, Mr. Makahara did not fit the profile of a Mitsubishi president. His selection was widely seen as a message to the world that the company was trading its stubborn traditionalism to a more international mind. 